Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ambassador Vegas, and I'm back with another awesome video. On this channel, we talk about the positivity about Africa and Africans. Guys, part two of Get to Know Them. That is our two favorite people on the channel, Olivia and Sophia. Get to know them. But in this episode, Madam Mati is absent. So mom is currently not feeling so good. So dad is filling in. So say hello to dad in the background. Hello everyone. We wish her a speedy recovery. So let us go and watch the four minutes video of getting to know them for us to appreciate our two favorite people on the channel. That is Olivia and Sophia. What is your biggest fear? Okay. I have two. I have two biggest fears. So my first one is losing one of you guys. Like that would definitely like parents or, or like like and you, dad, mom, you, anyone in our family. Like, I feel like that is like terrifying to me. I yeah. thought it'd be like not being able to find the step stool, something like that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's plastic. Um, she can't reach anything ever. And my second one. I don't understand why I have this fear, but I have a fear of being, like, forgotten. Why that's my biggest fear? I don't understand how you would be forgotten, because you know people, like, no matter what, someone's going to be alive that knows you. But then what if that person passes away? Then well, that's going to happen. Then, that's going to happen eventually. That happens to everyone. Everyone gets forgotten unless you're famous. Your 10 million TikToks will live on. <laughs> I don't think TikTok is going to keep me from being forgotten, but... Yeah. So what's yours? My two. The first one's not as serious, but it's any insects, like spiders, anything can't do it. And rodents yes, also can't I, do not it. Not me killing all those spiders for you. I on uh, your curtains. I do that. Since you're too okay. weak. You literally be running around screaming. You're like, kill it, kill it. Anyway. And I have to get it for you. The trauma <laughs> also, is real. Also, rodents. I can't do rodents either. Okay, me too. Not They're rodents. just disgusting. Squirrels. Disgusting. Rats. Not, eh, no. And then my second one is definitely being alone. Like, like, what do you mean? Like, ending up alone. Like, that's... Like, not getting married? Or, like, no, not just, in a relationship? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, like, not finding, like, your person. And also just, like being alone like in general so if we leave the house and you're home by yourself is that a problem no that's different like you mean like i'm not i'm not actually alone like long term alone uh -huh. hmm. yeah. okay i can actually i i do not like being in the house by myself though all right who gets in trouble the most 100 percent you i guess yeah. you because you're so stubborn guys i'm yeah. not stubborn you are you're so stubborn all right i'm stubborn you wow. are very stubborn. Wait, no, that, the first, this, is, this is a miracle. The, the first step is to recognize it. It's and a she, miracle. She's finally admitted Recognize the problem. problem. Guys. Fantastic. Okay. Guys. <laughs> Who's the stubborn. most emotional? Oh. Um, um. I think it's me. Is it I both of it, us? I think we're both really emotional. I feel like you're emotional over less important things. What do you mean? TBH. Like, you get emotional over, like, books. Okay. And over, like, shows. Like, you weren't crying at the yes, end yes, of that show? Yes, yes, but that's not, that's not why like I get... Like, you weren't crying yes, when yes, Moscow yes, died? Yes, but that's... Shh, that's not why I get emotional the most. Yeah, like, but, I usually get emotional when I get in trouble. But that's not the thing that I get emotional about the most. Okay, but... Like, okay, out of... So what do you get what emotional? What I'm trying to say is... What I'm trying to say is, like... If she gets emotional 20 times... M like more than half of them are over something not important if i get emotional 20 times most of them over are over something important if that all right so who annoys mom the most you uh uh uh, uh, uh <laughs> you it depends on what we're talking you. about it depends on what we're talking about forgetfulness her annoyingness you me, clinginess you me. <laughs> um not trouble. doing their chores you uh, that refrigerator. You, whoa, whoa. Okay, yes, whoa. the refrigerator, but what whoa. about, what about, what whoa. about wiping the, oh, yeah. the, the kitchen okay, cabinets? Okay, I do, what, I, I what do. What to wiping the, 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 what is it called, the air collector, or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> whatever that is, the thing that sucks up the air from the pot. Pause, pot. pause. What is that? No, I do my job, I don't do it well. You just don't do it. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> it's the 
dependent. It's dependent. Yeah. You're both annoying. We're both annoying. <laughs> all right. We're all right. Well, that's all the questions we have for today. People ask me, among all the content in this world, why do I choose to create content about these two um, Caucasians? Even to the extent that a lady had a problem with me at the comment section that these ladies are Ghanaians. Why is it that I'm calling them Caucasians? And as a matter of fact, they are Caucasians. White person coming together with a Ghanaian, bringing forth two amazing daughters. Hiring the Caucasians. I create cross-cultural content on YouTube. Anything that has to do with whites and black. And as a matter of fact, my content are positive. Unless there's something going on in Ghana of which I'm wanting to add my voice to it. Just as I added my voice to the Nakwami Bediakon's content when he wanted to unify the Ashanti King and also the, the, the chief of Bono. And also with Maya's content. So unless something peculiar is happening, that is going to, you know, be a detriment to the development or that also going to propel the development of Ghana or Africa. I'm going to talk about that. Aside that, I stay consistent with the type of content, the cross-culture content that I create to YouTube. And as a matter of fact, these people are also, you know, helping in advising the channel. Why don't I also talk about them? So I'm just trying to appreciate for the fact that they are Caucasian, they are doing something positive. And I'm also wanting to do positive stuff on the media. I already want to create content that, that preaches negativity about Ghana or Ghana or any other Western country. I already want to do that. They are not part of my, my, my style of content creation or the slant of my content. So if I find a content that deems necessary for us to talk about that resonates with my, uh, my channel description, I'll do that. All right. So those of you come in my WhatsApp trying to tell me that there are tons of content that I'm supposed to create. This is what I choose to use my, my channel for. Initially, I go on the street to interview people about their perceptions about Ghana and Africa, what influenced them to Ghana, what influenced them to Africa, how are things going for them? All right, what are some of the things that Ghana or any other African country is not doing right? What does he or she think that we, we are to do right? Those are the questions that we do ask. At the moment, we've, we've halted on creating that content of which we are trying our best possible to get back there again because it's that type of content that personally I do like. So if you find problem on the style of content or slant of content that I create, please, there are tons of content creators out there and they create different type of content. I know people who do like this type of content, cross-cultural content. And those people are the people that do come to watch the content and so subscribe to the channel. So I don't know the type of content that you want me to create. So my favorite people, Olivia and Sophia, the, through the video that you watch, were out with episode two of Get to Know Them. I know that subsequent time, when Madame Mati gets well, she will come for them to create more content for us to enjoy on YouTube. Visit their channel or get to know them more better on TikTok through the link that I've posted at the YouTube video description. Get to know them, follow them on the things that they do on the channel. I remain Ambassador Vix. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you comment, you like, and you share. See you next time in another episode. Sokoto, Mayande.